The right to be forgotten is hard to define. Uh, it doesn't have a specific definition. Currently, it's a European right uh, that was interpreted from an old 1995 data protection directive that gave European Union citizens the right to delete information based on two articles uh, that were interpreted in 2014 as a right to be forgotten generally applied specifically to Google search results or all search results. Uh, so the right to be forgotten is really about addressing old information that identifies you personally in a legal way. So if you are an American, we have no right to be forgotten. Uh, if you are a European Union citizen, um, you have the 95 articles in place uh, that provide a certain type of right to be forgotten, and you have the regulations that are not enacted yet. Uh, they are supposed to be on the books formally in at the end of this year or early 2016 um, that have an explicit right to be forgotten. The regular everyday person should know where they live in the world uh, to feel secure in the right to be forgotten. Meaning that if you live in a European Union country, you can feel secure that you can make a request to have certain search results removed. Um, and in a handful of other countries that have data protection regulations that are based on the European Union's structure. Uh, if you live in the United States, you should feel secure in the fact that you do not have that right. Well, I think it's worth noting that there is still no guarantee, even in exactly. the European Union, that anything will get taken down. You have the right to petition, and if they deny your request, there is now a court system that you can take it through, right? There, there is an appeals process that is set up. You take it to the agency, um, and there really is no guarantee in the sense that we don't really know how Google's responding to these. They talk about easy cases, like, if I shoplifted two years ago, it's an easy case because I guess shoplifting is relatively no, harmless no. To, to murder, but um, it, that, that doesn't make sense um, to, to a lot of Americans, I don't think, that are, you know, we have a tough on crime uh, kind of attitude, and it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to the American legal system because that would be a public, uh, a public record. And so it's... It, you, there's not really anything you can do to feel secure and accept that you can make a request if you are a citizen of a certain country.